Good morning. Say good morning, bro. Don't you lick that. Don't you lick it. Morning, Danny. How you morning. feeling, champ? Coffee, kid. Things could be worse. <laughs> 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 I think wait. All right, because I'm showing you guys more into my life now, it's super loud. We're listening to Christmas music, all right? All December, baby! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna set up our tree too. That's so loud. I love it. Looks like dog water. Look at that. <laughs> All right, because technically, like our first week uh, in the new crib, I'm gonna show you guys. <coughs> Holy shit! Too many words in one sentence, right there. So you choked on them? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys like a budget, kind of full day of eating. Like I said in my last video that I do, uh, basically because now I'm paying for everything, right? So I'm trying to keep the prices for everything down. So like I'll break up everything into meals. So like how much each meal will cost and everything so that you're kind of like getting the best bang for your buck, if that kind of makes sense. But usually right now I'm spending like $300 a month usually on groceries and stuff. So if you kind of divide that per day, that's kind of like $10 per day. But uh, on some things in terms of like meals like this, you can actually like decrease that uh, a lot if you buy in bulk like if you buy a lot of eggs or you buy egg whites instead of like separating the egg whites out of the eggs or stuff like that so basically this is meal number one okay one whole egg cup of egg whites uh we got some peppers i don't really have mushrooms anymore just because extra money right you don't even need to buy the peppers technically but i just like the like taste of them then oats okay 70 grams of oats one scoop peanut butter and 100 ish grams of frozen berries i usually have like the biggest meal in the morning and now i'm not really fasting anymore. It's currently 10.30, so I'm probably gonna have this, have a shower, and have my second meal before the gym, something like that. Also taking my vitamins in the morning with my first meal of the day. One of these, omega-3, one of these. So yeah, this is the first meal, then I'm gonna have a uh, pre-workout meal before the gym. Probably another big meal, a lot of carbs. And then in terms of this, I'm having like around 3,200 calories right now, split up between like six meals-ish. Depends how that goes and like what I'm doing during the day. 220 grams of protein, and then carbs and fats kind of like just play each other out. Say goodbye to the next clip. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you guys care or not, but the last meal was 612 calories, 47 grams of protein, 67 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of fat. Just, uh, let me just make this real quick. No joke. I actually love this room. I love my new, you know, like setup and everything. Also, haircut. Just got a haircut. How are we looking? Done by yours truly, of course. <laughs> Two things, make sure you smell good, use deodorant, use lip chop all the time, trust me. It makes you more handsome. Guys, specifically, I'm telling you, it makes you more handsome, I'm not joking. Like, if you have crusty ass lips, that's disgusting, so. What's up, dude? Is it time for meal number two? Yes? The wheat. The common theme you're gonna find in most of my meals is that most of everything I buy is going to be in bulk. What the f do you want, Danny? You f***ing piece of Shut up, microwave. The most annoying <laughs> microwave, man. Dude, I tried, man. All right, common theme. All my meals, everything is like easy to buy in bulk. So cream of wheat, rice, potatoes, oats, chicken, turkey, uh, lean ground beef, stuff like that, because that's how you're gonna save money in the long term. So meal number two, cream of wheat, one scoop protein, one cup of frozen fruit, and peanut butter. <laughs> Blue pink salt for a pump, because this is pre-workout. Meal number two. In this meal right here, we're looking at 557 calories. That's actually way too low, one sec. Rice cake. So I'm gonna add one rice cake and that's gonna be an extra 60 calories, which will be 
uh, 617 calories for this meal and that'll put me at like around 1200 ish before my workout I'll probably want to have more than that considering we are about to go train in like an hour So I'm probably gonna have to have a lot of calories after my workout. But yeah cream of wheat one scoop protein berries um, Scoop of peanut butter is probably the easiest calories and the cheapest considering you can get like a full tub for like 10 bucks And that'll last you like two months or something like that cinnamon pink salt and also gonna throw in one rice cake and that is going to be pre-workout meal. All right, so forgot to mention that I am starting to take Turk starting today. Okay, this is from uh, Mr. Greg Doucette's supplement company. Supplement compliment supplement company. I'm, I'm trying to speak, all right? HTLT. Okay, I'm not sponsored by him or the company or anything because obviously I'm still with my protein, but my protein doesn't have this. So I actually reached out to Greg and I wanted to try it out. So basically a serving size right now is one capsule, but says that you can take up to six capsules a day taking 30 minutes before your workout. So I'm just gonna take two because I feel like six off the start would be a lot. And I don't know, I don't even know if this shit works really. So I'm just kind of like testing a bunch of things that like aren't technically steroids to see if, you know, I get bigger or not. So yeah, long story short, I'm gonna start taking two. Um, okay, I'm just gonna take two of these. Okay, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Like I'm not gonna you know, bullshit you and say it's gonna build a ton of muscle. I don't really know much about it to be honest, but apparently some people have been getting good results from it, so. We'll see how it goes. There's some ashwagandha in here too. Ashwagandha. Vitamin E. Um, some other big word. Turkin Stani extract. Uh, a little bit of trend. So yeah, basically all natural things, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> Time to work out our muscles and get big, right? Am I right? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> for something pre-workout in I don't know. Three months. Gotta be excited. Jesus. Jesus. All over the sea. Dude, I will clean it. Dude, it's not me, alright? Who is it then? Do you want pre-workout? Take in scoop and a half, 150 mils down the hatch. Cheers. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pre-workout finally back in stock. This is the new stuff. Screaming sour cherry. Okay. So pretty good for a dry scoop. Probably be even better once I put it in uh in uh in a shake or something like that. So What's the macros on these again? Fucking ass. 
don't where's, even video those. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? I don't thing? want. I threw them out. I don't want anybody to know. It's a budget meal plan, bro. Yeah, no, should be good dude, for the. How much were those? This has got to be like three bucks each, man. The never, people need to we know. Don't eat those. They we don't eat know. those. No. I probably haven't had one of those since I was twelve years old. But would you recommend those? No, man. They taste like dog food. Literal dog. But food. how much don't are they? How much are they? Three fifty. Three fifty. There you go. That's a meal. Don't get these apparently, but hey, if you're on a budget, three bucks. All right, I'm gonna find the. Yes, I'm gonna sure. find the package here. Do you put it in there? It's gotta be decent macros, I think. Hey guys, I found it, all right? Swanson. Swanson, all right? Macros. You see that? 440 calories, 19 grams of fat. 19 grams of fat. So if you're bulking, you're having two of those, right? 42 grams of carbs and 19 grams of protein. So you have two of those bad boys. That's 38 grams of protein, 84 grams of carbs. They look pretty good on the front. This looks way better than that. My post workout meal right now, I've switched things up. Usually I would have chicken right now, but because I am more of on a budget, tuna, okay? Tuna is like a dollar 25 at the dollar store per um, can. And you can also go to Safeway or like Superstore if you're from Canada. I don't know if they have that in like the US or wherever you're from, but basically it's like a dollar 50 max. So pretty cheap, good alternative, and basically all protein. Uh, for half of it, there's 11 grams of protein. So 22. Also, taste test of uh, this new way isolate. Haven't had it yet. Because this is only like 20 grams of protein, I'm going to have one of these, and then a scoop of this. Danny's trying it right now. <laughs> Oh, honest. that's great. Honest, though. No, that's good. I like the um, sour watermelon a little better, though. What would you rate it? Sour watermelon's 9 out of 10, 7 and a half. The other one's better, for sure, yeah. right? Yeah. If you guys are really on a budget, I have been opting out for fresh vegetables lately, and I've been getting this bag of, like, vegetable medley, basically. Just mixed vegetables. Green beans, corn, carrots. I think that's it. And peas. But yeah, basically, I track this now just because, like, carrots and stuff have more carbs than... Um, like broccoli and stuff like that. So 60 calories per three fourths of a cup. And then I'm probably gonna do like 100 grams of this. Then we also make all of our rice ahead of time. Huge, huge tip, okay? Obviously, if you're trying to save money, buy your shit in bulk, but get these massive bags. Okay, long grain white rice. It's actually cheaper than jasmine and basmati. I don't know if there's like a difference, but in terms of like calorie content, there isn't any fat whatsoever so yeah this is the calories for it so zero fat 36 carb two grams of protein you can also get this stuff like this package stuff if you're running late on time or something like that but if you look at the back here there's four grams of fat four grams of fat per uh the whole pouch so um there's actually some fat in jasmine and basmati so long story short save money buy a bunch of rice in bulk like this this is like 10 pounds, eight kg, eight kg. So that's times 2.2. That's like 16 pounds or something like that. So. All right, third meal of the day, post-workout meal. 508 calories, pretty light. Probably should have had more rice to be honest. Consists of one scoop of the clear weight isolate in this with one scoop of creatine. Usually I have my creatine post-workout. You can take it whenever you want. Then 100 grams of that mixed veggie stuff. Then 200 grams of long grain white rice. Then one can of tuna. Pretty solid meal. I am really low on my fats. So probably gonna have a lot in my next meal. So cheers. Also, salt, pepper, mustard, never going dry. It's disgusting. All right, so next meal, we got the chicken cooking up in the air fryer right now. This thing is getting absolutely abused and will be continually getting abused uh, while I have a lot of calories every single day. But uh, then we're gonna throw in Uncle Ben's, totally forgot to make rice, and it is already almost eight o'clock. So I still have like a thousand calories to go. So if I like waited to make rice, then I would just be having a massive meal and then going to bed, which I don't want to do. So basically going to put this in this bad boy, wait for that to cook up. Then I'm going to throw it into a big ass salad and make uh, basically a chicken rice salad bowl. Like I always do basically every night, throwing as many calories as possible. And that will be the second last meal. Then basically just fill in the rest of my calories 
with probably some more protein. And then yeah, basically just filling the rest of my calories with whatever I got left. That's usually what I do because I follow flexible dieting. So I basically just eat throughout the day and then just like fill in the rest of my calories for my last meal. But I do try and keep it pretty structured and clean, but also on a budget because now obviously I'm paying for everything. So anyways, I'm gonna tally up everything in terms of cost and calories after my last meal and show you guys that so that uh, you can implement it into your own diets, but also make sure you guys are hitting your calories and stuff because again, everybody is different just because you follow this diet or my diet doesn't mean you're gonna look like me or you know get the same results I get because again, I'm, you know, 6'5", 185 pounds and train a lot and do cardio like five times a week. So yeah. All right, second last meal of the day. Pretty cheap meal. Uh, if you guys want to decrease the price for this meal, you don't have to add the, excuse me? Tucker. You don't have to add the tomatoes if you don't want to, but they were on sale. So I got like a big thing of cherry tomatoes for like three bucks or something like that. Basically just got some lettuce, full pack of Uncle Ben's Jasmine rice, 170 grams of chicken breast, baby carrots. Again, you don't have to add this if you don't want to, but it is good vitamin E and they're pretty cheap. You, again, like a bag of these is like three bucks. Um, oh yeah, throw in some mustard, salt and pepper. That's the meal right there. Also half an avocado. You are on a really tight budget. I wouldn't incorporate the avocado because they can be very expensive. But again, if you buy it in bulk, you can get like 10 avocados in a bag for like five bucks from where I live. So, and yeah, that's basically the meal. And I have one more meal to go. <laughs> Uh, last meal of the day. I just fucking mucked those. Did you? All right, so last meal of the day. Okay, we got some more oats. Pretty plain meal. Right here, we just have 60 grams of oats and one scoop of casein protein, I believe. This is going to top me off basically for... 3,200 calories. I'm gonna finish off with 3,167 calories, and that is going to be 60 grams of oats, one scoop of casein protein powder, then also two of these yogurts right here. So depending on the yogurt you get, it can actually be very expensive. So you can get Greek yogurt. You can get like a big thing of plain Greek yogurt. Uh, if you get it on sale, it's like five bucks or something like that. And a big one like that, if you only use like 150 grams, it can last you probably like, I would assume five days, something like that, depending on how much you have. But usually if I get two of those, it lasts me like a week and a half to like two weeks. So if I average that out, it's usually like 10 bucks around there. So usually just add my yogurt into my oats here. I'm literally just using these ones because they were about to expire probably, I think tomorrow, December 2nd. So yeah, normally I would do plain Greek yogurt, but you know, feeling frisky. If this one's strawberry, then berry or something like that. So then I'm gonna top it off with 40 grams of peanuts. Now you can get almonds or cashews or any type of nut basically, but peanuts gonna be the best bang for your buck in terms of price. So this whole whole thing right here was five bucks and it is 700 grams. So if you use 40 grams in this meal, like I'm going to do right now, we just scored. Yeah. Hey! Boilers. If you use 40 grams and you divide it into 700, like it says right there, this should last you a decent amount. Be careful with nuts and almonds and stuff high in fat because you can obviously like add a bunch of calories and you don't even know it because it's so easy to eat. So this is going to be my last meal right here. Okay. Also put in some cinnamon and some toffee flavor drops for my protein. Yeah, like I mentioned at the start of the video, usually it's around like $300 per month right now for myself in terms of price. And you know, if you divide that by 30, that's $10 per day. And if I have six meals a day, it's around like a dollar 70 ish per meal. So pretty cheap, especially if you were on a budget and you're paying for all your food. So all that being said, uh, I'm going to absolutely devour this meal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you have like any other budget friendly meals or options or something like that, then you incorporate it into your diet. Let me know or comment down below so then other people can you know, put it into their diet as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if you are new to the channel, please like, sub, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye, love you, bye.